I've gone ahead and added a, like a transition here and then also added some shakes as well just so it doesn't look very bland. But yeah, this is all going to be available as a, uh, a pack in my shop. So if you'd like to buy it at the end of the video, you can. But for now, let's get on with the uh, tutorial. So this is just how to do some one framers without too many uh, plugins or minimum plugins or no plugins at all. If you choose not to get, the, get plugins. <laughs> so. First thing we're going to do is add levels to this one. I think this is a pretty self-explanatory one. Um, you can just change the thresholding of the colors like this, and then you can just do invert if, if you really want. But in this case, I'm not going to add an invert. I'm just going to add a texture. So I'm just going to add adhesion lines, um, change the transition completion to 35, change the width to nine. Change the direction to whichever you want. So that's the first framer. Uh, second framer we're going to do is add a exposure. Uh, you can do it lighter or darker, up to you. But in this case, I'm going to do mine lighter because I already had a darker frame. So I'm going to do 1.2, and I'm going to add a blur here. I'm going to add a fast box blur if I scroll all the way down. So I'm going to add a fast box blur right here. I'm going to change the blur radius to five. Uh, horizontal or directional it doesn't matter it's up to you i'm going to do iterations of two and then i'm going to do an invert on the third frame and i'm going to put this on satur maybe saturation and then i'm going to put cc threshold rgb on it um, well what this does is it makes it look like this and honestly it looks really cool if you if you play it back but what we're gonna do is put, we're gonna put it on a blending mode we're gonna put it on it looks like we're gonna put it on um difference and it should look something like this so first that's the first three are done so next thing we're going to do is just put um Venetian blinds again we're gonna put the transition completion to oh sorry 35 percent again and then change the width to 12 and I put it, keep it at zero degree. Next thing I'm going to do is change the brightness and contrast, and we're gonna make the contrast higher, and we're gonna make the brightness lower. So it looks kind of cool like that. It's kind of warm colors, but you don't really notice it as much. But then what we're gonna do now is add, we're gonna add some glow. We're gonna add some glow to the color right here. Uh, you can change the radius, but I think if you give the radius a default glow, um, it's fine right with this, and then if you change the radius to something like 420, 120, it may look like that, it looks really nice. So when you play it back, it looks like that so far, and then you can just copy whichever frames you'd like. So in this case, I'll copy the difference framer, and then I'll uh, bring it over here, the paste over here, and then I'll put it on difference, and then we'll do uh, the first frame right here. Or not, actually, not the first frame, probably the second frame, right? yeah, second frame right here. And then we'll put it over here on this guy, and then that's the, that's basically some one frames you can use without plugins. And if you want to, if it doesn't look too impactful, you can always switch these around, and you can add whatever you like. In this case, I can add, like, it's, for example, I can even put it on a different blending mode, but I think it takes away the threshold, so you could add, like, levels to it. And then you can decrease it, or you can increase it or decrease it depending on what it looks like to you, what looks best to you. I think it actually looks cool when it's actually decreased like that. I think that's pretty good. That's pretty nice. Uh, so yeah, that's just how you can do some uh, basic one framers for Jug. Um, yeah, these are basic one framers. You, you, you don't really need a, uh, plugins for these. I have uh, S shake in, um, on my uh, clips, but you, you can use expression shakes if you would like to as well. So yeah. Thanks for watching and I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Goodbye.